alley cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. A night in a forest. One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, looks like this one's full as well. After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever going to get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And Aww. I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh. Uh, well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. Uh. Now, don't give up, kittens. Everything's uh. going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? Oh, then we can all sleep in the car. Ah. Oh, it'd be pretty cramped. Oh. Yeah, but in the car, at least we'd be safe from all the scary forest creatures. There's lots of mosquitoes around, too. <laughs> nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. Ha, relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Uh -huh. <gasps> <laughs> Kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together, and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um, kittens, it's time for bed. Good night, Good night Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry for us creatures. They're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti-scary forest creature spray. <laughs> ah. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. Daddy's Kitty Cafe. One day, Daddy was practicing a presentation for a new cafe. And that's why the Cat Cake Cafe will deliver impressive profitability with perfect products and super service. Darling, it's perfect. I'm sure the factory boss cats will approve of your proposal. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. I think it's ready to go. 
I'll double check all the slides are on my computer. Daddy was going to show his presentation on his laptop. Bye bye! Gosh, I wonder whether or not the boss cats will like Daddy's presentation. Oh, I'd better call work and tell him I'm gonna be late for the presentation. Oh, goodness, I forgot my telephone. Huh? Mommy was busy working on her new collection. Mommy! Daddy forgot to take his phone. Grandpa's trying to call him. Hello? Hey there. Good morning. I'm sorry, but it seems he left his phone home by mistake. Okay, I'll call back later then. Bye. Well, goodbye then. Now, kittens, please put this on the desk in Daddy's office. He's probably going to come back to get it. Huh? huh? Mommy! Mommy! Uh -huh. Some stranger is calling Daddy. Uh, hello? Um, is this the stripy dentist's office? No, I think that you've got the wrong number. I'll just turn the ringer volume down. Please put the phone back on Daddy's desk. Daddy can check the list of who tried to call later. Hey, look! This call is from Daddy's office! Good afternoon! Hello! The Sweet uh? Treats boss cats are already assembled. Uh? We're all here waiting. Hmm. Hello? Can you even hear me? Hello, this is Candy speaking. I'm here with Cookie and Pudding. Daddy went to work, but he forgot his phone at home. <laughs> I see. Well, we'll just have to cancel the presentation. But Daddy worked super extra hard on it. He even rehearsed it a whole bunch of times. I'm afraid we would all need to see your father's cafe ideas right now. I have a really good idea. The three of us can make Daddy's presentation for him. The kittens turned on the phone's camera. Can you all see us? Should we start giving the presentation now? <laughs> um, uh, you can get started, sure. Hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, 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 Our daddy's cafe will be small and cozy. Outside will be painted yellow and orange. There'll be cups and saucers, and they'll all have a paw print, just like the sign when you come in. And it'll have cute little tables. The display cases will be full of pastries and sweets. Plus, there'll be a bunch of fresh berries that you can add to your sweets. All the waiters will wear fancy uniforms. And they'll all wear hats that look like cream tarts. <laughs> also, also, there's, there's going, going to be... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got stuck in a terrible traffic jam, and somehow I forgot my phone. <laughs> Hi, kittens. Daddy! These wonderful and resourceful kittens just gave your presentation uh, for you. Really excellent work. <laughs> they did? Good job, kittens. Thanks. We're happy to say we're moving ahead with the project. Uh, one thing, what are we going to call your cafe? <laughs> well, there's really only one that makes sense. It should be Kitty Cat's Cafe. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the Kitty Cat's clever idea to help Daddy, there will soon be a lovely new cafe in the city. Junior Archaeologists. The kittens and mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! My mom.
my darling. It looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh. A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, Good morning, morning sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Awesome! Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> 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 The kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here, and there's no treasure to be found either. Uh, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. Nope. I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Mm -mm -mm. Stay away, chicky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, uh, hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's going to be so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the lunch. Oh. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring! <gasps> what if we painted 
take some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now. The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They were really scared. <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police. Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. Hmm, we could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh, oh. oh the birds are back. even a little bit scared. Oh boy, aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on, look at that. The pinwheel, they're afraid of the pinwheel. It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. Aliens! One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad, because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him, too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations hmm? from space, Earthling. Huh? We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens? Awesome! Oi. I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 me
Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, ah, oh, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. It's we're late. Yes. Yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stuck. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please. Run! Hold on, I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Chase will know it was us all along. <sighs> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine. Walkie talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called walkie talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over! Attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. <laughs> This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you, too, Cookie. I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. This is Candy here, and I'm in Africa. Over. This is Pudding here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over. Hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over. Walkie-talkies don't work when you're in orbit. Huh? Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie-talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, Cookie Kins, or you'll tear the back side of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom. The, the backside back of your, your pants? pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why does that lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for. It sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention. Huh? This huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie oh. managed to find the police walkie-talkie oh. station. That's given me a really good idea. 
Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, it's us. Then by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. Great, copy, copy that. that. Oh, wow. We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers. I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm barely sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Police, come in! The Kitty Cat Search Squad have found the lawnmower in our own backyard! Roger that. I'm on my way. Uh, oh, yeah! My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Come on, stop! Please? Stop, lawnmower! <laughs> I can't thank oh. you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. Oh, cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Meewow, 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 meewow. Oh, what a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Wow, our dinosaur island is finally ready to go. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow. We have to clean up the mess in our room first. I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right, then. How do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors one, two, three. three. Rock, paper. Oh. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play Cookie next. Rock, paper, paper scissors, one, two, three. three. Scissors. Mm. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. So, the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors, then. But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors. Ship. Magnifying glass. Jump rope. It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Huh? Huh? The nail could puncture the tire. And the huh? hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win?
know why there's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Huh? Oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? Well, I'm quite fond of this new game. You're all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs. <laughs> the Sweet Truth One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This spot is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain-looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels! All flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm. got it! We just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. Mm. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies! Great cookies! Come and try some great cookies! Hi there! Hey, hey guys! You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. But first I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey! You guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? Did, Did you say something, something super awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> the magic cookie from Kitty Cats! Try one now! Oh, wow! We want your cookies! Hey, my cookie isn't working! I'm still on the ground! I should be flying by now! Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all! Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie! Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. 
They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the Well, let's get this over with. Mm. These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Renovations. One day, Mommy and Daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Mommy, Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic? Really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments. Dance parties! Oh, we can play so many games up there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room! <laughs> huh? It's still the same as before! Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. Well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. There! It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh! Oh, I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? <laughs> Oh. 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 These silly sticky things are way more trouble than they're worth. Oh. Oh. What if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. Look at that! 
I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh, no. Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty cat oh. paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. The kitten's little cousin. One day, Mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. Kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son Bagel along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin Bagel is really like. I'm sure he's really well behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> and I bet he's good at playing soccer. <laughs> With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever! Or an amazing music band! <laughs> Hi! Hello there, Cinnamon! Auntie Cinnamon! <laughs> Hello there, little kittens! My, how big you've all gotten! Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin! Of course, here's your cousin! Um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. <laughs> oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool ball bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, oh, ball yeah. from my chess set. You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? The kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Kittens, you've become real friends with Bagel. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
The kitty cat saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day, a special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This Kittens Day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome ah! one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. Wow, <laughs> that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. <laughs> all hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. We won't find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now! That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> We already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Uh. Whoa! Whoa. Wow, wow, look, at, look that. at that! It's a magic town with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day and they realize that surprises are worth waiting for. Clowning around with Boris. One day, the kittens were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. And I'll be a concert pianist. And I, uh, I'll be a great scientist. And I want to be a clown. Huh? 
Boris, do you really want to be a clown? You're kind, but not so funny. Well, clowns aren't funny people in real life. They're funny with their bodies when they perform. But you never perform, Boris. You're right. Which means I better start. I'll come up with a funny routine and perform it for everyone. Everyone will laugh a lot. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But at home, the kittens realized that they were worried about Boris. But what if his routine turns out not to be funny? Boris will be so sad if he does a show and no one laughs. What if we sneak and tickle every kitten's paws? Then they're sure to laugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that won't work. When something's funny, everyone laughs at the same time. We could put this in the audience and play a laugh track on it. It would be really strange to hear laughter, but not see anybody laughing. <laughs> or you three could help Boris come up with his clown show. Friends are supposed to help one another. Ah! The kittens want to help Boris with his routine. Oh, thanks a lot for coming. My costume is pretty ready, but I still haven't thought up a funny routine. We can help you with that. Everyone usually laughs when someone falls down. Look, like this. Ow. Uh. Ow. You just drop the banana uh. peel and then you slip uh. on it and fall on your bottom. Uh. Go uh. on, you got this. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks like comedy wipeouts aren't your thing either. Everybody laughs when they hear a funny song, so just sing something hilarious. La la la, la la la. Funny la, songs la. really need to have funny words. But I don't know any really funny songs. Oh, here's something funny to do. Comedy gold, pie in the face, and all you have to do is stand still while I do the rest. You ready? No. <laughs> Well, that was a total waste of a delicious cake. Yeah, and for nothing, because it wasn't even funny. This is all my fault. I'm not funny at all. I won't ever be a real clown. Boris, you're really funny. That's hilarious. Am I? I wasn't trying to be funny. It somehow just happened by itself. <laughs> you know what? I think you really do have the talent to be a real clown. <laughs> I have a really good idea. The kittens came up with a clown routine to showcase Boris's natural talent. And that's how the kitty cats yeah. realize that a talent may not always be easy to see. Sometimes it can even be discovered by accident. Cookie takes a break. One day, Daddy made an exciting announcement. My kittens, today we're visiting an aquarium. We'll see all kinds of fish and octopuses. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But first, you need to pick your train track up off of the floor. In case it causes a toy train kitten collision. <laughs> we'll clean up now. Sounds wonderful. And Daddy will buy our aquarium tickets online. We built such a gigantic train track that it'll take us forever to put it away. Well, we'd better get started then. <laughs> Tidying up wasn't Cookie's favorite thing to do. Uh, uh, uh. Cookie, can you put the controller in the box? It 
It's too heavy for me. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Cookie, did you drop that heavy train switch on your paw? Uh, yes, ow, yes. Dropped it right on my paw. Oh, uh, it hurts so much. I guess I can't help tidy up. Right, when you injure your paw, you really should go lie down. However, just lying there and waiting was pretty boring. Cookie! Ouchie! Get off your paw or it'll never oh. get better. But I'm thirsty. I'll get you something to drink. And if you need something else, just tell us and we'll help you. Cookie started to rather like that having a sore paw made everyone help him out. He started calling pudding and candy for every little thing. I'd love to have an apple. Uh, on second thought, I'd love a pear more. Then Puss in Boots asked the princess. Are you feeling any better? No, nope, my paw's still hurting. Shouldn't we tell Mommy? We shouldn't bother Mommy about one little sore paw. What if she sends me off to the hospital? <laughs> Maybe we should put some ice on your paw. Please don't do that. I'd probably catch a cold from all the ice. Huh? <laughs> If we had a time machine, we could use it to return to earlier. Mm. And keep Cookie mm. from hurting his oh. paw. Oh. Oh. <sighs> but there's no such thing as a time machine. I'm sure my paw will get better on its own, but not yet. Hey, I think some cartoons would really help. <laughs> Look, kittens, I just printed out our tickets to the aquarium. Ah! Oh. Uh, Daddy! Oh, goodness. Looks like dear old Daddy just had a major train collision. The bruise isn't too bad, but Daddy cannot drive anywhere today. Now, kittens, why didn't you clean up like we asked you to? We were cleaning, but Cookie dropped the control box right on his paw. Then he started caring for Cookie instead. Um, to be honest, the box didn't really fall on my paw. Um, and my paw didn't really hurt at all. But why did you tell us that it was hurting? Well, at first it was because I really didn't want to help clean up. But then I really liked it that you were taking such good care of me. It's your fault we can't go to the aquarium today because Daddy's hurt his leg on the train set. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. We're still going to go. I can drive us all there. And Cookie won't be doing anything like that again, will you, Cookie? I won't. Never again. I promise. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know what to do. Before we leave, we should clean up the rest of the railroad tracks so no one else gets injured. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie was a good kitten, to tell the truth. And he realized it's best to help out and not just think about yourself. Kitty Cat Circus. One day, the kitty cats decided to put on their very own circus. I'm going to do stunts on my bicycle. I'm going to walk the tightrope. And I'm the clown. I will be the juggler. I'll do magic tricks. I'll, uh, I'll do tightrope walking as well, I think. Cupcake's doing that already. And there's no way two kittens can walk on one tightrope because they'd get in each other's way. <laughs> what should I do then? Candy, maybe you could be Smudge's magic show assistant. Smudge likes to scare everybody. I don't want to pull anything yucky like a bug or something out of a hat. Hmm. Wait, I know what we're still missing. An animal trainer. Oh, that's what I could do. Let's get ready to perform our acts. This show is guaranteed to be so, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Ha! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Uh, 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 
<laughs> Before I can be an animal trainer, though, I need an animal to train. Hey, jump through this! But the bird was too busy. The mole huh? was too scared, and the snail was too lazy. Oh, come on, just jump already. It looks like the training session's at full swing. <laughs> but nothing that I'm doing is working. I'm a terrible animal trainer. Hmm, well, maybe you could practice on me. Daddy put on the fluffy hood from his winter coat and pretended to be a wild animal. Roar, roar. <laughs> hmm. Huh. And hop! All right, oh. jump through the hoop, Lion Daddy. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Lion, hop! <laughs> hey, why are you listening to what I say? I'm the Lion Trainer. <laughs> Don't walk away. If you aren't going to do what I say, I'll put you in the corner. Hey, I need you for my circus show. Oh. Huh? 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 Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Roar. <laughs> oh, have we got a wild animal here? But he's too wild, Mommy. He just keeps running away from me. <laughs> Why don't you try to make friends with him? Uh, but how? When he doesn't understand me at all. Well, two things that I'm sure he would understand are love and kindness. <laughs> Huh? I have a really good idea. I will show the wild animal that I love him. That's what I'll do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. ah. Ah. And hop! When treated with kindness, Lion Daddy started to perform. <laughs> and soon the animal trainer act was ready. <laughs> And that's how Daddy helped Candy learn that the best way to teach someone is by using love and kindness. Butterfly. One lovely day, the kitty cats were having lots of fun out on the playground. Smudge looks like a ghost or something. Ooh. Uh, what is it that you're trying to capture, Pudding? Awesome butterflies I've never seen before in real life, so I can look at them for myself. The one I hope to catch is a rainbow butterfly, though. Her wings are a pretty rainbow color. That sounds just beautiful. I'd really love to see one of them. Well, actually, they don't live here. Rainbow butterflies are only found in tropical countries. The kitty cats returned home to find a surprise waiting for them. Guess what, kittens? Grandpa sent us a box of tropical fruit. Isn't that wonderful? Mmm, pineapple. Oh, little caterpillar! Look at her. She's a really big one. Can I keep her? Oh, Mommy, please. Oh, what if she becomes a big butterfly? I suppose. But please don't let it just crawl around the house. Caterpillars frighten me. I promise you, Mommy, I won't take my eyes off her. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Um, Pudding, are you certain this squirmy and gross caterpillar will really turn into a beautiful butterfly after a while? You bet she will, just as long as I take really good special care of her. Oh! Mm. 
once there was a butterfly. <laughs> Could you change the channel, please? Our favorite show is about to come on. You guys need to wait. Our caterpillar really loves watching this show about butterflies. This is getting kind of out of hand. What if that thing doesn't even turn into a butterfly? Yes, she will. Both of you just wait. I know you'll become the really, truly most beautiful butterfly in the world. Oh. Hooray! It finally happened. What? What happened? The caterpillar turned into a butterfly? Well, not quite yet, but soon she'll be. She's gone into a cocoon and she'll come back out of it as a butterfly. What if instead of a nice butterfly, some kind of ugly, creepy beetle comes out? Like a rhinoceros beetle or something. Huh? Oh. Or maybe instead an awesome battle come out. Oh. Ah. Or what if what comes out will be a lovely magical fairy? Ah. Oh. Oi. Hmm. Great, now I'm really nervous. Oh. No way, look at that! Huh? It's what I've been hoping for! A rainbow butterfly, you guys! Oh my goodness, it's beautiful! Come on, let's show Mommy and Daddy! What a pretty butterfly! Excellent work, kittens! Honestly, it wasn't us that did the work, it was Pudding! Yeah, he took really good care of the caterpillar. And now we just need to let her out of the jar so she can fly free with all of the other wonderful, pretty butterflies. Visit us sometime, Rainbow Butterfly, all right? I hope you'll be okay. Goodbye. Darlings, so you'll always remember your dear Rainbow Butterfly friend. I got some special bows and ties. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So thanks to Pudding's great care, the rainbow butterfly can be found in tropical countries and in the kitty cat's yard. <laughs> <laughs>